Owning a supercar is a dream that most people will never see fulfilled. However, there are a lucky few among us who have the wealth and resources to purchase some of the most beautiful and fastest cars on the planet. Hello and welcome to our channel. Today, we're going to tell you about the 10 most expensive supercars of 2022. So, let us begin. The new McLaren Speedtail is an ultra-exclusive hybrid that the company dubs a Hyper GT in homage to the renowned McLaren F1 supercar of the 1990s. The Speedtail spares no effort in its pursuit of smelt aerodynamics, foregoing traditional side mirrors in favor of a camera feed system and replacing electrochromic glass, which eliminates the need for sun visors with lightweight materials. It's a three-seater, like the McLaren F1 it was based on, but with more than a thousand horsepower and a top speed exceeding 400 kilometers an hour, that's 250 miles per hour. Only a few hundred lucky people all over the world will be able to buy a piece of this. Oh, and not to mention its steep price tag of $3 million. The Aston Martin Valkyrie bridges the gap between conventional, all-motor performance and an electrified future with its 6.5-liter V12 engine that redlines at a screaming 10,500 RPM. The gasoline engine is coupled with an electrification system, which provides additional increases in power and torque. The end product is a vehicle capable of going from 0 to 96 kilometers an hour in 2.5 seconds and producing 1,130 horsepower on demand. The Valkyrie's engine is integrated into the airframe and its lightweight design and aerodynamics help it fly. If you want to know where Aston Martin is headed in terms of performance, look no further than the Valkyrie. Lucky owners of this ultra-exclusive road-legal race car can say goodbye to $3.2 million. One of these limited vehicles was purchased by former F1 racer David Coulthard. This is a street-legal variant of the McLaren P1 GTR track racer. Lanzant, a British firm, purchased the first McLaren P1 and had it modified to the P1LM, which it sold to a small number of customers in the United States, the United Kingdom, the United Arab Emirates, and Japan. Similar to the P1 GTR, this edition also boasts a 3.8-liter twin-turbo V8 with gold plating around the engine bay. The P1LM, on the other hand, is a more intelligent version of the P1 GTR since it generates 40% more downforce while being 60 kilograms lighter. In addition, the P1LM's remarkable aerodynamics allow it to produce a thousand horsepower on the track. Well, all five oh, units so produced of this supercar were sold, so you'll not be able to purchase one. Well, even if you got the chance, most people wouldn't be able to cough up the $3.6 million required to purchase this beauty. W Motors of Lebanon manufactures the Lycan Hyperspot, an Arab supercar. The vehicle became well known after appearing in the film Furious 7, in which it famously smashed through three skyscrapers in Dubai. Like in hypersport, 3.4 million dollars, zero to 60 in less than three seconds. There's seven of these things in the world, and this guy keeps it locked up in a vault. Nothing sadder than locking a beast in a cage. And I really want to punch him in the face. Okay, let's get to work. Every bit of acclaim given to this supercar is well deserved. It has a futuristic cabin, scissor doors, and glistening headlamps. A 3.7-liter twin-turbo engine provides the supercar with 770 horsepower and 708 pound-foot of torque. 
The acceleration from 0 to 62 miles per hour takes only 2.8 seconds, and the top speed is an incredible 204 miles per hour. As a means of promotion and public relations, the Abu Dhabi Police Department operates a Lycan Hypersport. The 240 15 karat diamond headlamps and the 420 15 karat diamond lead blades account for the staggering price tag of $3.4 million. These jewels can be altered to your specifications. So, to sum up, this Arab delicacy is on par with any European supercar in terms of price, appearance, style, power, and speed. One of these beauties is owned by Vin Diesel. Seems like the actor fell in love with this after he crashed through three skyscrapers. The Jesko is the latest hypercar from Swedish company Koenigsegg. The Jesko, named after Christian von Koenigsegg's late father, is powered by a reworked 5.0 liter V8 with twin turbochargers that generate more than 1,500 horsepower. The sophisticated aerodynamics generate over a thousand kilograms of downforce, and the breakthrough new light speed transmission increases thrust to the ground. All the threatening good looks, mind blowing acceleration figures, and ultra rare availability you could ever want are included. From 0 to 96 kilometers per hour in two and a half seconds is expected on the way to a top speed of close to 480 kilometers per hour as advertised or 300 miles per hour. The asking price of this rocket ship, which can be driven on public roads, is more than $4 million, 4.1 million to be exact. For the Incans, Huayra personified the wind element. The Huayra BC lives up to its moniker by being faster and more maneuverable than the regular Huayra. It has a wider rear track and new side skirts among its many impressive aerodynamic upgrades. At 155 miles per hour, the massive dynamic rear spoiler generates a downforce of 1,102 pounds. The utilization of light materials like carbon fiber results in a lightweight package that weighs in at just 2,685 pounds or 1,218 kilograms. Unfortunately, all 20 units of this masterpiece have already been sold. This beauty costs a whopping $4.6 million. Horacio Pagani created the Huayra BC for his friend Benny Cayola, who is an avid Ferrari collector. The vehicle has a strong engine that produces 790 horsepower and 811 pound-foot of torque. Great success! Tripod drive shafts paired with a 7 speed X track transmission transmit this power to the rear wheels. BC has reduced the model's default lag time from 150 milliseconds to 75 milliseconds. Well, if Dwayne Johnson, Floyd Mayweather, and Mark Zuckerberg can own this car, then it means there is something special about it. Just for your information, veneo means poison in Spanish, and this car is as lethal as its name. In honor of Lamborghini's half-century in business, this model was developed based on the Aventador Roadster. The veneno lives up to its name, since it appears extremely poisonous and dangerous. This beautiful creation looks like a spaceship from another planet from every perspective. Additionally, it is speedy and powerful, with a 6.5 liter V12 producing 740 horsepower and 507 pound-foot of torque. 
Within 2.9 seconds, this speed demon can reach 60 miles per hour. Despite having an all-wheel drive system, the carbon fiber Veneno only weighs 3,285 pounds. Only nine of these marvels were ever produced by Lamborghini, so it should come as no surprise that their resale values are through the roof, with one going for $11 million. This beauty belongs to Dominic, a former tech CEO turned car dealer. As impressive as the Bugatti Veyron was, the Chiron is on a whole new level. It has baffled experts by driving performance to unprecedented levels. The Chiron features a powerful quad-turbocharged 8-liter W16 engine with outputs of 1,180 pound-foot of torque and 1,500 horsepower. 60 miles per hour can be reached in about 2.5 seconds. The automobile can reach a breathtaking 261 miles per hour. It's not only about speed, though. The Chiron can also make a bold fashion statement. There is a reason that people like Ronaldo or Post Malone have spent big bucks on this car. A new Bugatti Chiron will set you back at least $4.7 million at today's exchange rates up from a starting price of around $3 million. Former Volkswagen executive Ferdinand Pich conceptualized and drove the development of this vehicle. As compared to the Veyron, the Chiron is superior in terms of raw power, technological sophistication, and top speed. The confluence of automotive engineering and aircraft expertise produced this timeless brand. A Ferrari La Ferrari Aperta is a one-of-a-kind supercar, and there are only 210 of them in the world. Finding one will take a lot of effort and a lot of money. 190 were sold, 9 were set aside for the celebration of Ferrari's 70th anniversary, and the remaining car was auctioned off. In keeping with its status as a limited edition variant of the La Ferrari, the Aperta has been outfitted with a number of unique upgrades. Notably, it was the first Ferrari not to include Pininfarina bodywork or similarly styled exterior design since the Dino 308 GT4. The term Aperta is Italian for open, which refers to the car's wider doors and wheel wells in comparison to its other Ferrari relatives. It sells for around $5.36 million. Not surprisingly, Bugatti appears again on our list, this time concluding with a vehicle designed to be the world's priciest and most exclusive road car. La Voiture Noir, sometimes known as the Black Car, is the product of this endeavor. Let's start with the fact that it's the costliest brand new automobile ever produced. Plus, there will only ever be one of them because Bugatti is looking to keep things exclusive. The 8 liter 16 cylinder engine of this amazing vehicle allows it to go from 0 to 60 in under 3 seconds. Imagine that! Now, we don't know the exact price tag, but such a Bugatti motor can't be cheap. So, Keep in mind that the $18 million price tag for the Bugatti La Voiture Noir includes more than just the Bugatti name. This one-of-a-kind car is owned by Ronaldo and was the third Bugatti in his profession. The man's a collector. So that is all the time we had today, folks. I hope you enjoyed this video. Do not forget to subscribe to our channel and do hit the bell icon on your way out. See you all next time.